Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this lacy stitch that I'm calling the Marching Ant Stitch uh, because when it, they are worked uh, above one another they look like little ants that are marching. I'm not sure if this stitch has another name um, but we'll go with Marching Ants today. So we're going to learn how to crochet this lacy stitch uh, it is a very easy to work, although it is a five row repeat. I'm going to be using a medium or worsted weight cotton yarn called Pima Cotton by Lion Brand, as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial. Our stitch today is worked in rows and we're going to start by making a slip knot. You're then going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of 16 stitches plus 8. So today I'm going to go ahead and chain 40 chain stitches. There's 10. Twenty, thirty, and forty. Once you have your foundation chain worked to the length you would like, you're going to begin row one by working a double crochet into the sixth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five, six, and into this sixth chain, work one double crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one, skip the next chain, and double crochet into the next chain. Repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next stitch. At the end of row one, you'll have double crocheted into the final chain, and you're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one, and turn your work. For row two, we're going to skip the first chain space and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain space and double crochet into the next stitch. You're then going to chain five and this is going to be your first leg. You're then going to skip the next two double crochet stitches and into the next double crochet you're going to work a cluster stitch. To work your cluster you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop and yarn over and pull through two. You're then going to repeat that two more times. Yarn over into the same stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Do that one more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. That's your cluster stitch. You're then going to chain five once again, skip the next two double crochet stitches into the next double crochet, work one double crochet stitch, chain one, skip the next chain one space, double crochet into the next. Repeat that one more time, chain one, skip the next chain one space, and double crochet into the next stitch. You're then going to repeat back from this chain five. So 
So chain five, skip the next two double crochet stitches and into your next double crochet work a cluster stitch. Chain five, skip the next two double crochets into your next stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip the next chain one space, double crochet in the next stitch, repeat that one more time, chain one, skip the next chain one space, and then double crochet and if you're at the end of your row you will be double crocheting into the fourth chain of that starting turning chain. And that brings you to the end of your row two. At the end of your row two, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row three, we're going to double crochet into the next chain one space, and double crochet into the top of the next double crochet stitch. We're going to do that one more time double crochet into the next chain one space and double crochet into the top of the next double crochet stitch. You'll have a total of five double crochet stitches including that turning chain three. You're then going to chain four and then skip the next four chains, one, two, three, four. Into this fifth chain, you're going to single crochet, skip the top of the bobble stitch, and single crochet into the next chain. And hopefully it's not too, too tight. There we go. So skip the bobble, single crochet into that chain. Chain four, skip the next four chains, and then into your next double crochet, you're going to work a double crochet stitch, double crochet into your chain one space, double crochet in the top of the double crochet, into the chain one space and then one more double crochet into the top of the double crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across your row. So starting here with this chain four skip the next four chains and single crochet into the next chain stitch. Skip the top of the bobble and single crochet into the next chain stitch. Chain four, skip the next four chains and then double crochet into the tops of your double crochet stitches and into your chain one stitches or chain one spaces all the way across. When you come to your starting turning chain, you're going to double crochet into the next chain one space and then double crochet into the third chain of that starting chain four. That brings you to the end of your row three. At the end of row three, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row four, we're going to double crochet into each of the next four stitches.
chain four, skip the next three chains, and single crochet into the next chain. You're then going to single crochet into the space between the next two single crochet stitches. So you'll remember that you skipped the bobble stitch. So we're going to actually work into that space, into the space between the next two single crochet. Just work one single crochet stitch. You're then going to single crochet into the next chain stitch. chain four and skip the next three chains. You're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next five double crochet stitches. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain four, skip the next three chains, and into your next chain stitch, work one single crochet, single crochet in the space between your next two single crochet stitches, and then single crochet into the next chain stitch. Chain four, skip the next three chains and work one double crochet into each of the next five double crochet stitches. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to work that final double crochet stitch into the top of that starting chain three. And that brings you to the end of your row four. At the end of your row four, chain four, which counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one, and turn your work. For row five, we're going to skip the next stitch. So you have your chain four coming out of your first stitch. Skip your next stitch and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet into your next. You're then going to chain five and into the um, center single crochet. So you're going to skip the chain four and the first single crochet stitch and you're going to work your cluster into that next stitch. Chain five, skip the next single crochet and the chain four, double crochet into the first double crochet stitch chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next, and repeat that one more time, chain one, skip one, and double crochet into your next stitch. You're now going to repeat beginning with your chain five. But you're going to repeat that all the way across. So chain five, skip the next chain four and the first single crochet into the next single crochet, work a cluster stitch. Chain five. Skip the next single crochet and the next chain four into your next double crochet stitch, work one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, repeat that one more time, skip one, and double crochet in your next stitch. When you come all the way across, you're working your final double crochet stitch into the top of that 
turning chain three. And that brings you to the end of your row five. At the end of row five, chain four, and turn your work. Your chain four counts as that double crochet and that chain one. For row six, we're going to skip the first chain one space and double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to do that two times. So chain one, skip the next chain one space and double crochet into the next stitch. We're then going to work across this chain. So you're going to chain one, skip the next chain stitch and double crochet into the next chain. Chain one, skip the next chain stitch and double crochet into the next chain. Chain one, skip the next chain stitch and then double crochet into the top of your cluster stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain, double crochet into your next chain stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain and double crochet into your next chain stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain. This time we're working into the tops of our double crochet stitches there in the center. So you're going to double crochet in the next double crochet chain one, skip the next chain one space and double crochet into the top of your double crochet stitch. Repeat that one more time, chain one, skip the chain one space, double crochet into the top of the next double crochet and that brings you to your repeat starting with the chain one and skip that first chain before double crocheting into the next chain stitch. So you're going to repeat that all the way across. Working a double crochet, chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next stitch. almost all the way across. So I'm going to keep going. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to chain one, skip that next chain, and then double crochet into the third chain of that starting chain four. And that brings you to the end of your row six. That also brings us to the end of our repeat rows. So for the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat rows two, three, four, five, and six for as long as you would like. So your row two starts with this first cluster. Repeat it as long as you would like, fasten off and weave in your ends. That's all there is to working this marching ants stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you to subscribe, say hello down in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.